It's day 146 of the project and I'm super excited to bring you another exclusive first look at a brand new fragrance for 2022. Today's featured scent is La Bola Parfum by Jean-Paul Gaultier and to find out all you need to know about this one and whether it's an improvement over the original version, stay tuned to Mags Frags. <laughs> Yes, hello again everybody and welcome to another episode of Mags Frags. I'm Paul and this is day 146 of my Fragrance 365 project where it's the fragrance that's the star of the show. Today's featured scent is La Beau La Parfum by Jean-Paul Gaultier. It came out in February 2022 and it's a follow-up to the original Le Beau that came out in 2019. And just like the original version, the perfumer behind this creation was Quentin Biche. The original wasn't a, a love at first sniff for me and I thought it was a little bit bland when I first tried it uh, but over time I've really grown to love this one and it is actually uh, one of my favourite go-to summer fragrances. This new one promises to be more interesting with notes of whiskey, cypress and woody notes being added to the composition and it comes in two sizes, a 75ml bottle and a 125ml size bottle like this one and I paid £67 for this 125ml bottle size from a a Spanish website called uh, Perfumes Club and it's taken around about 10 days to arrive. So without further ado let's get into the review because I can't wait to share my thoughts on this one with you and um, we're going to start with the presentation. Yes, so into the presentation, and like all the uh, Le Mal and the Le Beau fragrances, it comes in a, a tin can style container. This particular one is a sage green colourway with gold accents. There's the name of the house and the name of the fragrance on the front in gold. It's like an embossed finish. And then you've got the Le Parfum branding, which is set uh, within this like fig leaf and banner motif at the bottom. The rest of the packaging is pretty plain. Um, apart from just at the bottom, you've got your usual product information and you've got your barcode and your batch code. And if you're interested, the, uh, the batch code on this one is 13481. To get into the bottle, please don't do what I've seen some people do online uh, on some online videos where they take a can opener to the top of it. Uh, to access the bottle, you just uh, lift up from the bottom and then the, bottom's, uh, the bottle's then mounted uh, into this usual uh, red velvet plinth. Uh, and if you look inside the, uh, the can, uh, it's, it's actually fitted with like a little stabilizing mechanism uh, to support the top uh, so that it just stops it from coming out of the plinth and like getting bashed about when it's in transit. The bottle design is a, a big step up from the original in my opinion uh, and it's now got this like black uh, uh, gradient that runs from the neck of the uh, atomizer down to the middle of the bottle. This corrects what I would say was a, a fundamental flaw with the original design because it does look absolutely brilliant when it's full of this turquoise juice and there's this kind of masculine angular ripped torso design but after a few weeks of using it the juice level drop below the shoulders and then it suddenly starts to um, look like this muscular guy's wearing some kind of woman's off-the-shoulder dress which I don't think is what the, uh, the, the, the desired look that the brand were going for uh, but I'm glad to say that this new bottle looks way better with this new colorway the rest of the design is is fairly similar uh, you get this like gold you get a gold atomizer and the uh, usual Jean-Paul Gaultier uh, uh, safety pull pin uh, to stop you from pressing down on the atomizer by accident uh, down below is the uh, usual gold leaf uh, fig leaf uh, which is covering the uh, the gents wedding tackle and modesty uh, and the spray quality on this one is really fantastic and it delivers a really smooth and controllable fine mist which is like a Rolls Royce quality and overall the presentation on this one is first class uh, which you always get with every Jean-Paul Gaultier product The top notes in this one are iris, pineapple, cypress and ginger. In the heart there's coconut and whiskey. And the base notes in this one are tonka bean, amber, sandalwood and ambergris. Mm -hmm. 
So this one opens up with lots of pineapple, lots of coconut and lots of sweet tropical freshness. You get an instant reminder of the original Le Beau Saint DNA, which makes you kind of wish you were sat somewhere on a tropical beach, uh, on, a, on an exotic location or a, or a paradise island. The pineapple really pops in the opening and it's a fairly realistic uh, take on the note of pineapple. And before anybody asks, no, this is absolutely doesn't even begin to resemble or smell anything like Creed Aventus. As it starts to dry down, uh, you get some sweetness from the tonka bean and the amber. And when I've tested it side by side with the original, this one is actually ever so slightly sweeter with a touch more creaminess to it. I don't get much in the way of booziness from the whiskey or any major woodiness uh, like I thought I would and like it was kind of suggested when, uh, when the notes was first released. However, with everything just blended together, it is 100% more interesting than the original with a much richer scent character and in the heart, um, right the way through to the dry down, it's, there's just a lot more kind of going on than what there is with the original. The original starts out uh, really nice with a nice tropical vibe and then seems to just go flat whereas this one just keeps you interested for longer. There's some uh, powdery iris in the heart of the fragrance and it's got a really pleasant and playful kind of happy vibe to it. The coconut stays throughout which brings uh, that suntan lotion kind of feel to it and overall my first impression is that it's a, a big improvement on the original and it's going to be my number one go-to fragrance this summertime without any doubt whatsoever. It's definitely going to be uh, a massive compliment magnet and it's definitely uh, one for the ladies. Yeah, this is still a summer scent and it's not like a, a winter version of the original. Despite the inclusion of the darker woody and boozy notes, it still has that uplifting summery vibe about it. It's more of a summer evening fragrance that has a touch more depth to it uh, and it shares uh, plenty of similarities to the original and if you do own the original you'll soon realise that this is a flanker and uh, not a totally different scent. It's kind of like what Prada did um, with the Absolute where it's just slightly deeper and, uh, and like a more rich version of the original DNA. Uh, this is very, uh, it's very playful uh, and it's a, a casual fragrance and I would say that um, this is definitely for like the warmer months of the year when you're wearing a t-shirt and you've got your Ray-Ban sunglasses on. It'd be perfect to pack in your suitcase for your next beach holiday and I'd say that it's probably best suited for younger guys because it does have a, a lot of bubblegummy sweetness and like I said earlier it is very playful and some old farts will probably say it's a bit too juvenile but I don't care, I'm an older guy and it's a scent that I'll definitely be uh, rocking this summertime. Yet I can tell instantly just after one wearing that it projects more and it lasts longer than the original. I sprayed this today around about four hours ago. Uh, I applied it to my left hand and the original to my right hand. Uh, and this parfum is still going very strong. And the original is now kind of just like a, a faint skin scent. But I can still detect it, but this is still kind of popping off my skin. So it's definitely uh, a stronger version. I reckon you'll get a good seven hours out of this one with a strong projection for the first hour or so uh, and a decent arm's length projection for the next four or five hours. Uh, but yeah, I think it's, uh, it's way better than this one, but it is a, a fresh fragrance, so you're not going to uh, get that beast mode uh, winter type fragrance uh, performance from it. Yeah, I think I'm going to need to give this one uh, five or six full wearings to really get to know the finer points of the scent character. Uh, but straight away, I can tell that this is a big improvement on the original in terms of scent DNA, performance, and even its presentation. But don't expect a totally brand new smelling fragrance here. It takes the original and it improves on it by giving it more depth and character. And the heart of the fragrance is where you're kind of going to notice the biggest change. The initial blast is pretty much the same as the original with uh, maybe slightly more intensity. It's certainly uh, not a radical change like we saw with the uh, Dior Sauvage Elixir compared to the original Sauvage. Uh, but there's definitely a, a noticeable difference in quality uh, when you smell them, uh, definitely when you smell them side by side. 
anyone who likes the original will absolutely love this one uh, and I'm, I'm actually uh, a little bit sad that I've still got half a bottle of this left because I don't think I'll be reaching for this original one again now that I've got this Smelling this today has really made me excited for the summertime and it's one that I highly recommend that you try out for yourselves. It smells absolutely great and for that reason I'm going to give it a straight 10 out of 10 for the summertime. Yes, yeah, so and once again, that's about it for today's scent of the day. Uh, I was going to review some copy fragrances from the Cologne factory today, and then the postman decided to surprise me by uh, delivering this little beauty, so I had to get this one out today. Uh, but I'll definitely be uh, reviewing the uh, Cologne factory ones in the next episode. I've also got three perfume parlor hauls to talk about so uh, they're building up as well so I'll be uploading them next week and as always if you've uh, found this video useful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel it's also great to hear your opinions your thoughts and your critiques on all of the fragrances that featured in this 365 project so don't forget to keep your comments coming down in the comments section and if you haven't already there's another 144 uh, fragrances now in the project so go check those out uh, there's a special uh, special playlist created on the home page of my channel so once again thank you very much for tuning into this latest episode stay safe keep smelling fresh and I'll see you very soon for another one bye bye for now